Hi, in this video we'll see how to use a uh, PWM in LabVIEW uh, Pulse with modulation to control a uh, LED from LabVIEW For this, uh, I've connected my LED to the digital third pin of a uh, Lotus Kit Here you can see And I also use a potentiometer that I've connected to the analog pin 0 of the Lotus Kit Let's see how to program for this LED uh, to control uh, using a pulse width modulation uh, let me program it first first go to new vi choose block diagram go to structures and pick a while loop mm, go to maker hub links keep it here and go to this red icon uh, click create control and go to initialize and then close it and go to peripherals where you can see the pulse width modulation tab here go to inside pick the set duty cycle and go to linux reference and connect the all reference wires together here you can see and error out to error in and error out to error in and I have connected my PWM channel that is the pin number 3 uh, that is also a PWM uh, pin that available with uh, Arduino kit so you can choose any of the PWM pins that is available in the Arduino and make sure the same pin uh, whatever you can pin that you connected to the LED has to be chosen here I have connected it to the third pin so I am choosing 3 here and to the serial port uh, to set a control here so most of the program is done here go to uh, numeric and choose uh, between anything you want uh, knob dial whatever you want I'm going to choose a knob here place the knob here and make sure that your knob scale is 0 to 1 because that is the acceptance value for uh, a PWM duty cycle in LabVIEW uh, not in LabVIEW that is in the links tool so I'm going to uh, give it as 0 to 1 here so that's it I have to connect this knob to my PWM controller so that is the duty cycle so here I've connected it and minimize the block go to the front panel minimize it choose your COM port and Run the program. The program is running. So initially, you can see here the knob is set to the zero. That is a very uh, minimum pulse width modulation. There is no output from the LED. If you gradually change this, you can see here the brightness of the LEDs glow goes higher, higher, higher as we turn the knob to one. So if I gradually reduce this, the brightness also comes down in the LED that you can see in the webcam window. So this is how we can control uh, a PWM of different, uh, you can connect any of the devices that can be controlled using a PWM from LabVIEW. So this is an example for this. So what if you want to control uh, that uh, PWM manually using a potentiometer. Let's see how to do this. Make sure you are using this stop button to stop this program. Never use the abort button that is available in the lab view to stop the execution. So stop here. Go to Windows, show block diagram, and delete this knob. So there is an unconnected wire here. If you press Ctrl B, that wire will be eliminated. And I'm going to delete this. Make sure that you are uh, connecting all the. Uh, uh, make sure uh, you are connecting all that uh, available uh, uh, blocks here using only in a serial connection, not parallelly. Uh, don't use a parallel connection. So uh, it will make the program to run erratically and it will not give you the exact results that you need. It. So I'm going to analog read a potentiometer that I have connected to the 
zero pin uh, zero analog pin of lotus kit connect the resource wire connect the resource wire and the, the i've connected my potentiometer to the analog zero pin of the lotus kit so i'm going to give it a zero by default it is taking a zero and the linux uh, that output a value that is analog value that i will get from this potentiometer will be 0 to 5 so i need to reduce that value to 0 to 1 so that i'm going to use a numeric uh, divide so x value is going to be the ai value output i'm going to divide that value by 5 that i'm going to use a constant here and that value is going to be applied to the duty cycle here so that's it uh, we have created the program to control manually the LED so I'm going to run this here let's go on and change the value of potentiometer pick the potentiometer change it value so you can see that the LED goes on if I change it so what if you want to read the value of the potentiometer in the lab view just stop this program go to tools show block diagram and just Go to the value here, create the indicator so that we will get the AI value that is the output value of the potentiometer. And close this one, run the program again. Let's change the value of the potentiometer to check. So, here you can see the value of the potentiometer that is uh, this value is not divided by 5 so we are getting that uh, real value of the potentiometer so here you can see that LED goes on and off by changing the potentiometer so thanks for watching this video uh, please subscribe to this channel for more videos uh, using Lotus Kit and other kits Thank you.